moment to feel into how there is some part of you that embraces change. You wouldn't be doing this level of work if you didn't. And that you love change, that you're good at change. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here on the planet at this time. And as you feel into some part of you embracing change, being a change maker, invite your higher self, body, Davis, higher self, and teams to reference a dimension where you can sit in a realm very comfortable being the change maker in appropriate dimensions, sometimes perhaps in the physical dimension, but you yearn for change. You are a change maker in these other realms and perhaps the physical. And as you hold that awareness of being the change maker at a vibrational level, take a moment to invite some energetic aspect of you, your body, your teams to discern how the majority of the people on the planet at this time may not embrace change. They may not revel in it. They might hold to the old, to that which is familiar and safe, even if it's discordant, unhealthy, uncomfortable, unsustainable. And then invite your higher self, body, to his higher self, and teams to work with the energetic fields and the guides to send appropriate energetic information to anyone on the planet that is not embracing change. Send information. Lift your attachment, your desire off of them. Return responsibility for them embracing change. Not your job to get them to embrace change. You embrace change. You love change. You revel in change. You are the change maker. In a higher realm where you can effortlessly make the appropriate changes to appropriate vibrational grids. And as you send that energetic information and return responsibility, return all empathic sensations as well, back to everybody at the level of their higher selves. And then take a moment to hold safe space for people to resist change, fear change, fight against change. Hold a safe space for them to be in whatever process they need to be in. Because we are in a time of quickening. We are in an evolutionary leap. And when we're in an evolutionary leap, change is constant. And so that's why we want to remember that we have mastery of change, that we love it, that we are creating it in a higher realm where we can in a really beautiful, powerful, empowering way. And so as you send that energetic information, return the empathic sensations. And hold a safe space for those to be in whatever process they need to be in with change. You get to model how you embrace change, love change, value change. Send that information and hold a harmonic, coherent way of being as you move in the world. As you serve in higher realms. Taking another deep breath in. We ask for a balancing and a stabilizing of your fields. Updating all of your grids, all your reference points, all ways in which you perceive. And then we ask that you're wrapped in sheets of rainbow light, gently sealing these vibrations in to whatever degree is appropriate for your spiritual evolutionary state. And let it be so.